So I just finished uh, integrating Box2D, which is an external uh, physics simulation. And at first, right, it looks alright. I've got this white box here, which is dynamic. It can move around. And I've got this red thing here, which is uh, basically just a box that they can collide. <coughs> and I've set it up to where when I click the box move toward the cursor. So you can see if I click over here, the box moves there. I click over here, you can see the box is stopped. It can't move past it. And at first it looks alright. But if you look closely, there's a little gap in between there. And if I actually move it to the bottom, there's a much larger gap on the bottom. And in fact, there's one on the left as well. It's kind of hard. Come on. I want to move downwards. And on the le on the right as well. But you also might have seen something else. If I click down here, so you can see the cursor is way down at the bottom. The box is seems to be attracted to somewhere up there. It's attracted up here, even though my cursor is down here. It's attracted to somewhere over there. If I click up here kind of similar you can see it's not quite in the right place you can see it kind of correlates correctly if I move my mouse to the right it does move to the right just not the right amount you know so I'm not sure exactly what's gone wrong uh, my guess is it's not it's not box 2d it's it doesn't have anything to do with that I think it's just my screen transform. See, uh, all of the like uh, tutorials for like OpenGL, for example, they have this world space to screen space translation kind of into the tutorial. Uh, but anything I found for Raylib doesn't have that. You just they just assume everything's going to be in pixel space. But uh, Box2D does everything in meters. While Raylib does everything in pixels, so I have to convert from between the two. And even without that, I still have to have a proper working camera system so I can, like, you know, zoom in and out and move the camera around. So my guess is somewhere in that moving camera around, or scaling, stuff like that, so somewhere in the camera system, something isn't working as it's supposed to, and it's not working. 